Bitches gon' be mad when I pull up in that chat. Bitches gon' be mad when I pull up in that chat. Snakes on my back, but never on my team. Bitch, I chase a bad. What's up, guys? Happy freaking <laughs> nail popping Mondays, guys. Today, we are going to be doing some poly gel nails and this video is sponsored by model ones thank you all they were so kind enough to send your girl the model ones poly gel famous nail kit y'all <laughs> so yes guys it came with th um sorry six poly gels all in different colors okay so we have soft white light pink soft pink uh light apricot nude and a color changing color it goes from clear to clear when hot and cold it goes to pink so it also came with the top coat a base coat some poly some sorry some plastic uh dual forms some slip gel some slip solution um a glitter some stones and also a brush and this beautiful foul okay now, everybody been raving about this file. It's actually smaller in person. I thought it would be bigger. And um, after one hand, honey, I needed another one. <laughs> so definitely have another filer that's like really, you know, doable and stuff like that. Make sure you have an extra one so that you don't have to like worry about having another filer. So yes, this is the brush. I love the brush. Um, it's pretty small, but I like it because it gets in those small areas like around the cuticle and stuff um, And this is the little paddle Tool that can you know where you can smudge out the product or whatever So here I'm just showing you guys how it looks straight out the tube the other colors I'm only gonna be using three colors so I wanted to show you guys the other colors so this is the soft white the first color and this is the second color I believe is the soft or the light pink And then that's the soft pink. And that one is the light apricot. This is the nude. I love the nude. These colors are really pretty. I love the nude. I love the I love them all, honestly. The only one I'm not really a fan of is the um the light pink one it's like a it's real light i don't like it like that but here i'm just taking a little bit of slip solution and the last one is the color changing but i'm just taking a little bit of slip solution and smearing it out so you guys can kind of see it activated um and that's pretty much like how it looks so yes um my first this is my first attempt guys i've tried this about three times my first attempt was to try to use the dual forms. I was told that it was pretty easy and it looked so easy. Um, after watching Long Hair Pretty Nails, it looks very, very easy. I must say, it looks very, very easy, but it's definitely not. And it's like, you, I guess it's, you have to learn with practice, you know? And um, I was also trying to shape my nails into a nice pointy um, shape. You know, I didn't want it square. I didn't want to have to be filing forever. So I was trying to get it into a nice pointy shape. I watched videos before I did it. And um, what I don't like is, it's a lot of things I don't like about the dual forms. I don't think I'll ever use those again. Honestly, look at it, you know. It was definitely a lot of work, and um, I was so upset that I wasted product, as you guys could see. So I did, I was about to give up, and then I did one on off camera, which was my pinky, and I said, okay, you know, this doesn't look bad. I was proud of myself. I was like, it doesn't look bad at all, but as you guys could see, it's like coming off, you know? It just, listen, a word of advice, I don't like dual forms. I do not. Um, some people know how to make it work. Me personally, 
Oh, sorry, it wasn't coming off. That was me taking it off, showing you guys how it looks when it's off. So me personally, I don't like dual forms. I do not, they are a lot of work. And then you don't get a thick enough nail, so they're bound to break in any second. <laughs> I don't like dual forms at all. I wanted to show you guys my process and what I was going through, you know. So I was like, you know what, all right, this might could work. You know, this might work, this might work. So I went ahead and tried to do a second one. And, um, you know, it, it takes time. This is my first time doing it. Maybe I'll try it again. But as far as, like, anytime soon, no. I will not be trying the dual forms again. Like... <laughs> Not for the rest of this year, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't even want to waste my time to be honest because doing your nails takes a lot of time and I just wouldn't want to do it. Like it's just a lot of work and then it's like you want to make sure you put enough product but then if you put too much, it's just not going to work. So it's just a lot of like ratio and just a lot of things you have to think about because if you put too much, it's going to spill out when you put it on your finger. And then if you put too little, it's going to break in half like a damn cracker. So I tried to do something that I see long hair pretty nails do. I try to add a little, you know, you know, a little glitter so it can look cute. You feel me? I tried to add a little glitter inside of the, you know, I try to encapsulate it with gel. Um, and you guys will see how that goes. So I'm holding it on and I noticed it kept like pushing up. So I had to like hurry up and put it underneath the, the UV gel lamp, the UV lamp. So I'm trying to press it down as much as I can and then I had to use the back of the brush to kind of like hold it in place while it's under the damn lamp because it just wasn't staying it wasn't like secure you know and i noticed i had to keep doing this with every nail it was like if not you know the gel does not dry at all <laughs> the gel does not um i guess i should say harden unless you put it under the lamp. So you definitely need a lamp when you're doing this, guys. So I was pretty excited to see the finishing look and oh my God, oh my God. So we're just gonna wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. And um, you guys will see, look. <laughs> Like, I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed, guys. And you know, I like to show my trial and error. Hopefully, you know, I get to try this again and we'll see what's good. But I just said, F it, you know, and I just, <laughs> I waited two days once I got my patience back and I just put some tips on. I tried to do a different type of shape, a coffin shape. So here, um, I already have the tips on. I already prepped my nails and things like that. If you guys want a video of me prepping my nails, I'll do that. But you know, it's repetitive, so yeah. So I'm just putting the, the base coat on my actual cuticles. And um, I'm just getting ready to do me, you know, a regular full set, but with poly gel. Okay, so I'm letting that cure for 60 seconds. So these are the three colors that I decided to use, which was um, the nude and the, actually I only used the nude, some of the light apricot and a few nails had the mood changing color. So I noticed doing it like this was way easier. It was like working with acrylic, just, it was like more of a gum paste, a gum pasty consistency, it kind of reminded me of like gum. So yeah, um, definitely 
Oh, and another thing I was so upset about, um, when I was trying all those times to do it, I wasted a lot of the step solution. So I had to use alcohol, and I was told to use the 100% alcohol. I didn't have that at hand, I only had 70, so I was like, this shit gonna have to work. You know, so, um, yeah, I noticed it was it was way easier to, to maneuver. Um, I mean, kind of, like, kind of. One thing I liked that it didn't dry so fast, so that was pretty good. You know, it's like, the more you wet it, the more you can, like, work with it. So, um, it was definitely a lot of hard work. It was, like, the same amount of hard work, you know, as acrylic. The only, the only difference with poly gel is that there is no smell. You know, it's absolutely no smell. You can do this with kids in the house. You know, in the other room, you know, don't, you know, don't have them around the stuff. They might try to eat the thing, but um, you can definitely, most definitely, uh, do this in a house for the kids because it doesn't smell at all. You know, so yeah, I'm just trying to get this to a great thick length. I like to make sure the apex is looking okay. You know, that's just, that's how I was looking, and I was proud of the first nail. You know, I was real proud of the first nail. I only show me doing one hand guys so um, I hope you know this is helpful so yeah um, I definitely like the brush it is small but I think it's the perfect size it does take you a little longer I mean it took me like two and a half hours I would say with decorating maybe less I think one hand it took me like 30 minutes to be honest, maybe 45, and then the other hand, another 45. Um, and then, like, trying to stop, um, you know, decorate them was, it was pretty tricky, but it was, it was, it was, it was easy at the same time. So, yeah. But that's the best way I can describe poly gel. It's more of a gum like consistency. It's like you're working with gum, you know? And one thing I would say, once you do, like every two nails or every nail you need to cure it because it does not it does not repeat it does not harden unless you put it in the lamp under the heat okay so unless you put it in the heat it does not harden at all so um i missed i lost the footage of the uh third nail which has a little glitter in it okay but um, I basically did what I was trying to do with the other nail that broke in half. Um, but um, yeah, this is the poly gel, so when it's cold, it turns to that pretty, you know, magenta pink looking color. And then when it's warm, it turns to a nice clear color. So I can say definitely, when it comes to poly gel, it's, it's okay to take your time. You know, um, have some patience, and you'll be fine. I just can't do the, the, the dual forms. I know it's a lot of people say that I shouldn't listen to them, but you know, I like to try things on my own. Um, you know, instead of listening to people, I like to kind of like get my own, uh, you know, input on how if I like it or not. I like to try it out myself, you know. And now I know I don't like dual forms. I would not be using them again. Okay, so this is the last nail, and I was basically trying to get, I don't know where I was going with this, I just know I wanted to showcase me using, you know, a few of the colors. Um, this time I only use these two colors, the next time I will use the other colors, so you guys can, um, you know, just see how it looks. I will be doing client's nails using other colors, and I'll make sure I, you know, um, 
record it. So yeah, I didn't want to like waste product because you can definitely waste product very quickly, um, you know, with the access. So I like to just like put it right back on top. <laughs> we don't got time to be wasting no product. But I definitely am grateful for this kit. You know, thank you again, Model Ones. You know, it was a definitely a learning experience. Um, I would definitely continue to use um, poly gel, but I think I will only use them for short nails. That's what I'm going to say. I will only use them for short nails based off of my experience. So as you guys can see, these, this is the, the first hand that is finished. As you guys can see, once it turns, once it's hot, it turns into that clear color. Okay, so here I'm just filing just a little bit. I finished both hands. Just showing you guys how it looks. I tried to replicate the same thing on the other side. And I was trying to get a nice coffin shape. But um, the rough side of the filer began to get weak. You know, it began to turn dull. dull. <laughs> so I just decided to like use my own that I had. I always have extra from my nail supply store. So yeah, I was just trying to shake them a little bit better. One thing I can say about uh, about poly gel, it's definitely easier to uh, shape. Uh, that's one thing I could definitely say. It's easier to shape. And guys, overall, I like the product and take this into consideration. Everybody's experience will be different. Mine's on the other hand, you know, my nails definitely broke. Uh, two more nails broke. So altogether, three nails broke. And I'm telling you guys this because I want to be honest and I want to, um, you know, hopefully I get better and I can make the nails last a little longer. But for long lasting nails, um, I definitely would just use acrylic and if I wanted something short and quick I would use the poly gel but definitely try the poly gel out guys it's definitely a bomb ass product you know everybody's experience is different Okay guys, so yes, this is the finishing product of the nails. Um, it did take me about two, two and a half hours to do these nails plus style them. Maybe two hours, it really wasn't that long. I honestly did them on live. Um, if you guys catch caught my live, definitely um, go and follow me on Instagram. It's, you know, that's where it's popping. But um, I'm hoping you guys like them. Um, Honestly, I am not the best at, at um, I'm not good at really uh, designing. You know, I'll get better with in time, with time, but, you know, I just did what I could. I really didn't like the blue glitter, but I used it anyway. And this glitter here, I didn't show it on camera, but this glitter here is a cute copper glitter with hints of pink and green in it. And that was just like an eye glitter I got from Amazon. And I just dipped my finger in it and put some, um, the UV gel on top of it, gel polish. So, guys, everything was good. I did these nails Friday. Today is Sunday at, like, 4 in the morning. And tell me why I was putting on clothes and doing try-on hauls. And look what happened. My whole <laughs> gel nail application came off. But the tip is still on. So, that means my glue is good. <laughs> But I don't know if I did something wrong here. I mean, this one is still on. I don't know. But one thing I can, and oh wait. as Okay, as you guys can see here, it looks like I could easily just pop my nails off. Like this one is, is not on secure. So one thing I can say about these, about gel guys, for me, it's going to be temporary. It'll be a very short time, short temporary time. I would prefer to deal with acrylic because um, it's, it's long, more long-lasting, honestly. But one thing I could say about um, the gel is that it's not, it is not harmful to your nails, I don't believe. And um, it is easy to take off. It's very easy to take off. Also, 
it's uh it doesn't smell up your house or it doesn't smell it doesn't have a smell to it at all that's one thing i can say about the gel was it easier to work with yeah but it was like working with gum and it's like the only thing i didn't like was that you had to hurry up and you know put your nail <laughs> under the light like i had to do that each nail because you know, the, it doesn't dry without being, the nails doesn't dry without being cured. So, or harden. The nails don't harden unless they're cured. So, personally, like, you know, this is my first time using it. I really didn't have the easiest time. You know, this is, it is a learning experience, you know. It's, I mean, I would love to use this on potential clients. Um, I just have to work on keeping it on longer. I'm not sure why they broke off so quickly it's only been a day and a half you know but guys these are the finishing product i will come back on here and do other colors with the gel i am going to also come back on here maybe a week from now to do a follow-up so you guys can see um how it looks and i usually do pointy guys i love pointy like i love pointy nails i can't live without pointy nails but i wanted to try something different and um that's why i kind of did a fake looking coffin nail so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my other nail popping monday videos and nail tutorials and etc and um again i am not a professional i'm just somebody learning to uh do my own nails and possibly do others and possibly get some coin okay <laughs> and save some coin so yes thank you guys for watching thank you model ones for sponsoring this video and have a great day don't forget to love yourself first and keep it glamming. Bye.